Hello. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a sequel to the film I discussed last week, which is The Boons Duck Saints 2 All Saints Day. Um, this film has Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery returning as the McManus brothers um, with um, Bill Duce, uh, their father played by Billy Connolly, returning, um, as well as the uh, three cops we saw in the previous film. Uh, what were their names? Greenlee. Uh, yes, yes, those are the... Uh, Greenlee, uh, uh, Duffy and Dolly, uh, played the, uh, the, uh, the three officers whom we see, uh, looking at the crime scene at the beginning of, uh, the first Boondock Saints, uh, and were a presence throughout the film with Willem Dafoe, and who helped, uh, assisted in, the. Um, the murder of uh, Papa Joe at the end of the film uh, by uh, being there essentially orchestrating it so they'd all come in those three would come in and they do what they're gonna do and ensure people saw it and yeah just killed him in a public uh, display um, well in this film it takes place you know Happens like ten years later, um, and the brothers are. Uh, uh, there's a murder that happens in a church uh, to a priest, and uh, it's done in a way to make it look like they did it, uh, but things just don't add up. You know, it's not their thing. They would never like kill a priest because they're very devout Catholics. You know, killing anybody in a church is. Uh, is considered like a big no-no to them. Least of all a priest, you know, they wouldn't do that. Um, in this film, we get a special agent, uh, Enos Bloom, played by Julie Benz, and uh, Romeo, who's played by Clifton Collins Jr., um, who's a very good actor. Uh, in his own right, uh, he was in Capote. Like one of the guys who killed that family in that film. Um, but anyway, this film, you know, they. Uh, once they get wind of. Because uh, uh, the brothers and their father are living in Ireland at the beginning of the film, they hear news of. Uh, of this murder and how they're essentially framed, they go back to America, which is where they meet Romeo on a boat, but just so they can, uh, you know, uh, find who did this, you know, who framed them and uh, kill them. And this relates to Papa Joe because uh, at the beginning of the film. You know, or as the film goes on, we find out who it is, and it's a, like a son of him, and he was in prison at the time, and he wasn't able to do any do a whole lot on the inside to pull certain things here and there for the contacts he has on the outside, but without him being on the outside, uh, uh, you know, you don't. There wasn't much he could do. Uh, or I guess it takes place eight years. Prior, but the film came out ten years after the original. Um, also, uh, Special Agent Schmecker uh, passed away, uh, as we hear in the film, the Willem Dafoe character. Um, that's important because they acknowledge that. And uh, yeah, as the film goes on, they, as we also see Noah McManus, El Duce's uh, background and how he became the prolific uh, 
assassin that he was. And as the you know, as the film goes on, we see flashbacks of this, and it's very interesting how you see, you know, uh, uh, and just how, you know, he, how he became about, and how he started to kill people. Um, you know, he was still kill He was also killing bad people like uh, his sons, and it's interesting to see certain parallels. And um, we also see Rocco first film he uh in like in like their dreams like they sort of like dream and uh, in their dreams he's telling talking to them and in various ways being fairly inspirational to them and uh i thought it was an interesting way to get him back um and yeah this is a as a sequel to the Boondock Saints, it's a it's a very good film. You know, um, honestly, uh, seeing Boondock Saints first time many years ago, I didn't think there was ne a need for a sequel. Um, uh, seeing this, uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I think the first one is better, um, but the there are a lot of moments in this film that are very good. Uh, quite a few moments that there's a lot of moments that are quite interesting to see. It's a very good film. Um, performances again are good. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what more to say if you haven't seen this film. It's a very good film. Um, I have the director's cut uh, on this version of two discs. One disc has the director's cut, the other has uh, the, un the theatrical cut, uh, while also um, special features on each disc. Um, so it's not like uh, others where, you know, maybe one disc has both versions of the film and you know, commentary and maybe another additional feature, and the second disc has the rest of the special features. It's, it's quite interesting to think of how, like, this set does that. Um, uh, I got this as a, at a pretty good price. It was like $10 on Amazon. So if you like the first film, not too uh, expensive of a buy uh, for the Blu-ray. I'm sure DVD would be a, a bit cheaper. Um, of course, this is now over 10 years old at this point. I want to go into a bit of a spoiler for a moment. Um, skip ahead a few minutes because I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and be quick on this. Uh, uh, but essentially, um, at the very end of the film, we see Peter Fonda, who's essentially orchestrated all this going on. He's essentially pulling the strings. He's the one who put Othuja behind bars, set them all up, and then set him up uh, so he'd go to prison and uh, I wanted to have him rotten there but then uh, well so the first film happened and well, he got out of prison but they uh, uh, you know and uh, his friends played by uh, Peter Fonda and uh, He's very good. He's at the very end of the film again, so we get spoiler, obviously. But he's orchestrated all of this, and it's interesting how he did it too. Um, as, uh, and also the reason, like you know, yeah, killing, but he wanted to be like essentially on top of sorts, you know, go through the ranks of like an underworld and be top dog, uh, essentially. And he. Uh, gets it to the point then he has his guys go to open fire on him but then his sons show up Romeo and uh, they kill all the guys but uh, uh, and uh, their father is hit many times and uh, the, uh, and uh, Noah 
kills his old friend. Um, just a name real quick. Louis. Louis the Roman. Yeah, Louis. And he kills him, but then uh, Noah succumbs to his wounds and dies. Uh, and then uh, the brothers walk outside with the police, and they surrender and get uh, and are in the hospital, or the prison, with uh, as is uh, Romeo. And uh, at the end, we see uh, Adrian's. Schmecker, uh, Schmecker, uh, played by Willem Dafoe again, uh, he's alive, and uh, he faked his death, and has been working with the Catholic Church, and has uh, been funding uh, his own like organization of sorts, um, yeah, yeah, agency to help fund, and he's working on to get it so they can escape from jail and continue their vigilante work, uh, you know, he he does like what he's doing, and he's gonna ha help uh, uh, Special Agent Bloom uh, get out because uh, as the film goes on, there's things that sort of uh, aren't so good for her, and she has to leave uh, real quick. And uh, all of this at the end really leads to the end where. There's going to be another film, um, but it's been like over 10 years now since this film came out, and uh, there has yet to be another film, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Um, again, the way this film ends, uh, there is, you know, another film is essentially intended, and the director, writer, Troy Duffy wants to make a third film, and uh, over the years it seems like uh, Norman Reedus and uh, Sean Patrick Flannery would like to do a third, um, uh, and apparently there's been various things talked about regarding a third film, such as uh, perhaps there'll be a TV show, and then perhaps there'll be also a prequel to the pre. Uh, to the first film, um, or a TV show in lieu of a third film. But I think a third film should just be a good thing. Um, I think they're trying to, he's trying to work out something, so well, however he wants all this to be wrapped up or to continue, uh, I think he wants to just do something a bit different, the director, that is. Um, though, if it's another TV show, uh, you know, Norman Reedus is committed to The Walking Dead, and uh, it's been going on since like 2010, so it's like the 10th anniversary this year. Uh, so, you know, he's, like a, he's a major character on that show, and uh, if it was a film, you know, perhaps he'd be able to do it. Seems like you know he's a he's like also like the lead of The Walking Dead now, uh, essentially, uh, or at least one of the leads. So it seems as if you know if he was to return to the Boondock Saints, he might need to have a haircut. Uh, plus, he's gonna have it so they have long hair at the beginning, but at some point they cut their hair, and uh, he does have long hair now for like The Walking Dead. Uh, Maybe they could explain or have him get a haircut at some point on that show. So his appearance would also fit with uh, uh, Boondock Saints 3 if that ever comes out or is, gets made in the near future. Though I've uh, also heard things like, you know, they've had a falling out. Uh, Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery with the director. I don't know how valid it is. There's various things, you know, on the internet. Uh, again, last week I discussed how, for a moment, how... At least I tried to touch upon it, how you know, people see the guy, they, 
has made, have has made these films to not be the nicest guy. He's like a real jerk, you know. It, uh, especially thanks to a documentary. Um, though again, that documentary was filmed over the course of a few years, and uh, edited in a way where it could make him look like a real jerk, editing in a, a lot of parts because you know, for like a ninety to hundred twenty minute documentary, you know, you're gonna have to cut out some stuff uh, over that two year two three year filming period um, but yeah uh, who knows uh, if a third film will come out um, it would be nice to see a third film I will say that I think um, I enjoyed this film uh, I enjoy the first film obviously I think that's the best of the two um, it would be nice to see this wrap up, like with one more film, like a trilogy. Um, uh, and I would like to see it happen in another in the next couple of years. Um, but again, with whatever they're planning to do for a third installment, be it a TV show or whatever, uh, you know, you'd have to really be accommodating to see, like, you know, someone like Norman Reedus, who's a, a huge. He's in. Uh, integral part of this series, as is Sean Patrick Flannery. You couldn't really replace them. I guess if you did a prequel, you'd get people who, actors who look like them, and, you know, they could play the characters how they would act younger, I guess. But I kind of just want to see one more movie, personally. Um, a television series, as cool as that might be, and sound, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's not like they did one film and then they have a TV show uh, to continue all of this. Um, I just think that you know they should just make a third film um, and work it around the schedules of Norman Reedus as well as Sean Patrick Flannery, uh, and also the get Willem Dafoe back. Obviously, because of the ending, you know, it's like, gonna have to, you know, uh, bring him back. And Julie Benz also, I mean, there's various characters to bring back. Uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, I would just like to see this all wrap up. While this isn't necessarily a needed sequel, to the Boondock Saints, it's one of those that didn't need a sequel. You know, the way it ended. You know, I, I thought it was good, but this film is good too. Uh, this is this is a fine sequel. Um, I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say on the matter. What do you think? Um, have you seen this film? Have you not seen it? Uh, if so, you know, what do you think? Do you like it better than the first film? Do you like it uh, uh, not as much as the first film? Would you like to see a third film or a television show or anything that I've found of what the future of the Boondock Saints could be? Um, or do you have another idea in mind as to how to potentially continue the series and like end it, at least? Um if a film and television show isn't necessarily of their liking. You know, maybe a comic book or a book in general. Uh, perhaps that could be an option, though I don't know how many people would like that, honestly. Um, as cool it would be to uh, have and see a Boondock Saints uh, comic book, you know, if they're going to do a third in in uh, installment, I would prefer a movie. Uh, over a comic book or a book. Uh, though, if a television show happened or continues, it could be fine. Um, but, you know, yeah, who knows? Uh, we have to really wait and see what happens um, with this. So, with that, I will uh, end it there. 
Uh, I hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week, and I'll see you all next time.